Hi everybody, I'm Clay with Gustin Hydraulics. My goal in this video is to help you understand the different high pressure hose options so you can narrow down your search and get on with your job. And we're gonna start right now. We're talking about the 10,000 PSI range where you'll find things like lifting and jacking systems, hydraulic torque wrenches, shop presses, nut splitters, flange spreaders, porta power equipment, automotive jacks, rail car and mining equipment, crimpers, knockouts from manufacturers like Power Team, Interpac, Simplex, OTC, Norco, Gardner Bender, Greenlease. Now that we have that out of the way, you've purchased yourself a pump and a cylinder and you need a hose to connect them so you can do your job. First. We've got the material, poly versus rubber. Rubber is very pliable, but it can get brittle in very low temperatures. Poly hoses on average are about 40% lighter. So this can be very important when you have lots of hoses or long hose run runs. By the time you have to wind all these things up and haul them, 40% lighter can be a really big deal. Poly hoses have great abrasion resistance. Poly hoses can be bonded together, such as in the case of twin torque hose lines, which can keep a workspace a lot more tidy. Poly hoses can also have a smaller outside diameter. Poly hoses can be manufactured in different colors. That's a lot of pros for the poly hoses, but it does come at a price. Uh, on average, they tend to be about 30% higher. Next thing to consider is the internal diameter. Uh, you have quarter inch and three eighths inch. Easily better than 95% of the time we sell quarter inch ID hoses over the three eighths just for the simple fact that in the 10,000 PSI world, it, it, the majority of the time we're talking uh, lower flows. So where do you want to use three eighths hoses? Uh, anytime you're talking uh, larger flows, uh, bigger cylinders, if say you're trying to improve retract speed on a very large cylinder that, that has a spring in it. Um, also double acting systems where you've got a, uh, again, a large cylinder um, that's limited of course to how large your pump is. So if, if you don't have a high flow pump anyway, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna really be gaining anything there. So you need to be paying attention to the flows of the pumps that, that you're going to be using. Otherwise, the higher cost of a 3 8 ID hose is, is not gonna be worthwhile. Next thing to consider is your hose end fitting size, uh, quarter inch NPT versus 3 8 NPT. In new system setups, uh, what most often dictates what size uh, Hose we recommend, of course, is the kind of the beginning of the chain, so to speak, and that is the output of the pump, um, uh, which is the vast majority of the time 3 8 NPT. Some exceptions to this with, with some small pumps, uh, most of the time the little four ton uh, body repair kits are quarter inch NPT. There's a couple of interpack hand pumps, P141, P142. Uh, if you're not sure, just uh, check out the, the manufacturer's literature. You can find uh, cut sheets on, on our website. I will leave links in the description below for most of the common hand pumps uh, so you can get on there and see, see those details. And then of course we have length, uh, pretty straightforward here. How far away do you want your cylinder from your pump? My pro tip here is always go a little bit longer than you think you need. If you're using a pump that has a remote control pendant to get you further away from your work if desired, you may not need as long a hose. So consider that as well if you're trying to keep, uh, keep your hose lengths down, your weight, and of course your cost. Keep in mind uh, also that there are some exceptions still within just, for example, the Interpac and the Power Team lines and the Simplex lines. Um, that I can think of right off. They also have some pumps that they consider ultra high pressure, which can be anywhere from 20 to 40,000 PSI. Totally different game. That's not what we're talking about here. I've left links below in the description to Interpac, Power Team, and Simplex hose PDFs, as well as links to some of the more popular hoses we sell. Please, please, please leave your comments, questions, like, subscribe, and also make sure to click the notification bell as we will continue to add related videos. Let me know in the comments also what subjects you'd like future videos to cover. It really helps us build our video library in the right direction and builds our community. Thanks so much for watching and work safe. Poly hoses, poly, poly, poly.